entered showbiz at what age? I started when I was 14. So, ano ba yung grade ng mata mo before you, you decided to go for dancing? My right was at 5.25 and then my left was at 2.75. Did you ever ask the doctors kung pwedeng isang mata mo na? Ay, hindi <laughs> ah. They go hard or go home ako. <laughs> One thing that I can assure them is that it's so fast. Hi guys, I'm Megan Young and I am confidently beautiful with a clear vision. Good day everyone and thank you for joining us once again in this brand new episode of Shinagawa TV. My name is Denise Tan. And we have very special guests for today. Of course, joining us is the medical director of Shinagawa, Makati, uh, Dr. BJ De La Cruz. And of course, we are now joined by Miss World 2013, walang iba, of course, Miss Megan Yang. Megan, Hello, welcome. How are you? Hello, I'm good. I'm super excited to have you here and talk more about um, your eye care procedure that you had done. But before all that, gusto ko lang malaman, when did you ever realize that you had poor eyes? I think it was in grade school na na-realize ko. Parang hindi ako nakakakita sa malayo. Whenever I would see like signs from afar, they would always be blurry. So that's what I noticed early on in grade school. And then when I got into high school, that's when I realized, okay, maybe I might need to get glasses because I was really having a hard time looking at the blackboard and I couldn't see anything. You entered showbiz at what age and yung eyesight mo ba? Did it also affect um, your career? I started when I was 14, mm -hmm. so parang in the middle of high school. And it was hard for me to read prompters or at, as mm -hmm. they call it in show business, idiot boards. Yes. For those that don't know, it's kind of like a script that's right in front of your camera. So I would say, could you make the text bigger? Mm -hmm. I can't read it or I'd have to memorize it. And sometimes it's hard because it's the script. Mo. So those are the struggles that I had, especially as a budding host. I had to read so many things and that was a difficulty for me. What about when you entered um, pageants? Uh, that's when I had to work mm -hmm. on Vax because um, I couldn't really wear my glasses on stage uh, and I mean, there was like a certain look that they wanted to go for. So, sabi nila, kailangan mag-contacts ka. And I knew that I needed to. Kasi kung hindi, makuhulog ako sa stage. Because my eyesight was so bad that even just looking down on the stairs, lalo na pag madilim sa backstage, was really difficult mm -hmm. for me. And I didn't want to injure myself also. Of course. Mm -hmm. So, the whole time na nagpapageants ako, grabe gasto sa contacts. Especially if you're new to it and yes. you're not really used to spending on a monthly basis oh, for that. Oh, eh. Tsaka yung problema kasi sa akin, I had two different grades for my eyes. So this one, my right one, I was nearsighted and then I had astigmatism on my left. So I always had to buy two different grades. Mm -hmm. So mas mahal siya para sa akin kasi hindi siya isang bilihan na isang grado lang. Yeah. Doc, normally po ba, how old is that person when they realize na May, may mali na sa eyesight nila. Well, that's usually how it happens. Mm -hmm. uh, usually at school age already, when they talk to their friends, they'll say, oh, I can see this, but I can, and you will not be able to see that or mm -hmm. look at that sign, but you yourself cannot see that. But there are ways that you can actually discover it earlier. Uh, we advise that all parents have their kids uh, screen for, mm -hmm. uh, for grade when they enter the school age already. Personally, Doc, I've always heard the line na, suot mo yung salamin mo para hindi lumabo or para makorek. Does that really happen? Like when you treat it early on, mas bababa ba yung chance of you uh, getting a higher grade? Well, when you use glasses or contact lens, uh, you're treating the grade or you're making your vision more clear for that grade. Mm -hmm. But most of these, since uh, these are young uh, kids and are still growing up, your vision is still going to change as mm -hmm. you get older. So uh, using glasses, contact lens, it's not a permanent fix. It's not a treatment. Speaking of grades, what is your grade ng mata mamigan before you, you decided to go for glazing? My right was at 525 mm -hmm. and then my left was at 275. So, if I would cover my left and just look through my right, everything was a blur. Mm -hmm. And especially at night, I had a really hard time driving. And that's when I really knew that maybe I really need to step it up and get LASIK mm -hmm. at that point. Ano ba yung mga weirdest o pinaka nakakatawang na dinig mo about having LASIK? I would be worried that I would get blind, actually. Mm -hmm. Parang that was a really big 
a worry of mine because I have I'm very anxious as a person. So for something like a laser to be yes pointed at my eye, sobrang takot ako. And then I'm thinking, mahakakita ba ako after if I move just like a little bit? Is that gonna affect me? Am I gonna like have a hole in my face? So all these different questions were popping in my head, and I was very scared. Did you ever ask the doctors kung pwedeng isang mata muna? Hindi <laughs> ah, big, go hard or go home ako. So if I'm not gonna do both, para bakit pa? Uh -huh. But pwede if they request it. It is possible, mm -hmm. yes, not normal. Okay. Pero doc, dun sa mga nag-iisip na magpa-LASIK, what usually happens in a LASIK procedure? So the procedure is very quick procedure. It's about a 10 to 12 minutes of both eyes, okay? So the patient normally would just have to lay there on the bed. We give you a focusing light, just tell you to look at the green light. Mm -hmm. You won't feel any pain. We do have anesthetic eye drops. Now you'll feel about a 30 second pressure on your eyes and after that you will feel nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll just see a bunch of uh, lights going around and that's about it. Yeah. And a lot of people would want to improve their eyesight, of course, but I know there's testings involved. Uh, who would qualify at uh, kahit sino bang may gusto, pwede na kagad magpalasik? So when we do our uh, testing for LASIK, uh, we take into account basically two major factors. Mm -hmm. How high is the grade of the patient and also what is the thickness of the cornea. So the cornea is the front clear part of the eye that we do the laser treatment. Then there's a calculation that we do to make sure that you have enough tissue to do the treatment and it is safe. Yes. How, how long is the whole procedure again? Uh, it's about 10 to 12 minutes for both eyes. And then downtime is again? Well, it's about the same as uh, other eye procedures. So right after you'll be able to see uh, already, it may be a little bit foggy for the first 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Then after that, you're able to go back to normal activities, uh, except for the strenuous activities like uh, running, jogging, uh, sports. Now, uh, we, uh, for one week, you can't uh, do those things. And then for one month, uh, swimming and uh, sports, uh, that may something that may hit you in the eye. Ikaw, Megan, how fast were you able to adjust to the procedure? Well, my procedure was around six minutes, and it was pretty fast for mm -hmm. me. And I think just, you know, just explaining kanina, since I had a lot of anxiety, I know people that also feel the same way when they're thinking about going through LASIK. Mm -hmm. One thing that I can assure them is that it's so fast. If you just try to concentrate on your breath, listen to your doctor, and focus on the light that is staring right at you, It'll be really fast. I believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it doesn't, it stops, right? Kapag namali yung tingin mo? Yes, so all of our lasers uh, have a tracking system. Mm -hmm. So patients are afraid that if they move a little bit, uh -oh. that mm -hmm. they will laser the wrong part of the eye. So the lasers have a tracking system. So if you move, the laser's going to follow your eye. Mm -hmm. If you get way out of range, the laser automatically will stop. So there's no risk of lasering the wrong part of the really eye. Really nothing to yes. worry about. Because I think yung anxiety comes from how can no I worry. how can I be still even yeah. for six minutes in yeah. your head? That's such a that's long a long time. time. Like mm -hmm. when you're there, and especially if you feel claustrophobic mm -hmm. as a person, I think these are you know important things that you also need to address na, as a patient. How did having improved eyesight uh, further your causes? Well, I can just say that work and working out mm -hmm. was a lot easier after I got LASIK. It was so life-changing for me. I felt that I was more comfortable at doing my job, that I didn't have to worry about other things like my eyes. Definitely my life, the quality of life, improved so much. I can't emphasize enough how life-changing it was na you just wake up one day and then you can see all the details of the things in your room, in your house. I mean, even just like a sign from afar. Just being able to read that. After not being able to read it for so long, you know, it, it's a it's a weird feeling, but I'm not happy. Siya. And all it took was six minutes. Yeah. Now we'll talk more about LASIK eye surgery. Pero ngayon si silip mo na tayo sa ating uh, social media. We have a question from Facebook. Ito ang sabi niya. I'm a model, and now I'm always out on social events. Since the travel restrictions eased, I've been suffering from poor eyesight since I was 16 and wanting to get LASIK treatment ever since. How soon will I be able to get back to work after the LASIK procedure? Well, immediately, uh, within the first 24 hours, you already have uh, good vision, okay? Now, we do have restrictions as far as your activities right after the surgery. So for one week, we have to protect our eyes. So we, we expect that you wear a protective eye gear. Uh, for one week, there are no strenuous activities like sports. Uh, there's no exercise for one week. So we just need you to be careful about your eyes in the first week. And then for one month, uh, no activities like swimming or sports with a ball or badminton that may hit you in the eye. 
But normal routine activities, the very next day you can already do that. So cell phone, computer, going out, television, your social life, the next day you can already do that. Well, there you have it. We'll talk more about having a good heart and a good vision when Shinagawa TV returns. The Shinagawa LASIK and Aesthetic Center can give you a clear life that you've always been dreaming of. What's very interesting, Lau, because I know you have a different corrective surgery. Tell us more about this. Well, I had pretty bad eyesight. Mm -hmm. My grade was around 1,950s. How was the whole experience like? Masakit ba? After my first procedure, I cried. Ah. And I, I was just so happy. Um, it was the first time I opened my eyes and I could actually see the faces in front of me. I'm Laura Liman. And remember, eyes are the window to the soul. So make sure you have clear vision. everyone and welcome back to Shinagawa TV. My name is Denise Stan and I am still joined by Medical Director of Shinagawa Makati, Dr. BJ De La Cruz. And of course, um, we also have an actress, a model, a beauty pageant title holder, Miss World Philippines 2017, Laura Lehman. Good day to you, Laura. Hi everyone, good day. Alright, so again, we are here to talk about Shinagawa LASIK and Aesthetic Center. Now, um, what's very interesting, Lau, because I know you have a different corrective surgery. Tell us more about this. Yes, so I actually had ICL. It's different from LASIK, and I think when people think of Shinagawa, they automatically think of LASIK, but mm -hmm. there are other options. Um, initially, when I had approached Shinagawa, I wanted to do LASIK, mm -hmm. because that's what I had heard about, that's yeah. what everyone does. It's a popular one. It's a popular mm -hmm. one, but unfortunately, I didn't qualify, and it happens to a lot of people. I think for me, my grade was a little too high. I'm not sure what the specifics are, yes. but I had pretty bad eyesight. Mm -hmm. My grade was around 1,000. 950 so it was really up there and at the time if I wasn't wearing contact lenses or glasses basically I wouldn't be able to see your face right okay. now but doc um, Lau already talked about it now she didn't qualify yes. so yung ICL what is it really and who would qualify for that okay so ICL is a lens implant uh, that we use uh, for pa patients who mostly have high grade and do not qualify for LASIK treatment so it's also used in patients who have uh, normal grades, but their cornea or the front part of the eye is very thin. Uh, so that doesn't uh, allow them to have LASIK surgery. So it's an implant that we place inside the eye, behind the colored part of our eyes. That helps you correct their, their high vision. So in LASIK, we use a laser to remove some tissue to reshape the cornea so their vision improves. But with ICL, we do not remove any tissue. We just uh, make a small incision, then we inject a lens inside the eye that already has the grade in the, the lens. Mm -hmm. Now, ikaw, yung ICL mo, you had it three months ago, right? Yes. How was the whole experience like? Masakit ba? Well, you know, to be honest, I was really, really scared mm -hmm. at the beginning because it's not really that well known here yes. in the Philippines. But I was told that in Japan or in other countries, it's actually more popular than LASIK. So, yeah, I, I was scared because they told me that the procedure was longer. Mm -hmm. It seemed a little bit more complicated than LASIK because yun na nga, they were going to insert a lens into my eye. Mm -hmm. But um, I honestly felt no pain. I was in and out. But what so, about after? Because you were in and out. Yeah. But what was your experience like, oh, during I, the recovery time? I, I, I had a great experience. Um, what comforted me was that they didn't do both eyes at the same time. They did my right eye first, and then a week later, they did my left eye. So there was that time period for me to get used to it. But to be honest, I really felt no pain. Um, I could do everything normally. There was there was no downtime. Mm -hmm. Curious lang ako, Doc. Yeah. Bakit yung ICL? Why do you have to do it one eye at a time? Well, um, in surgeries that are in more invasive, uh, we do one eye first uh, to help prevent infection. So in case there is an infection, at least it's limited to just one eye. And then after one week, 
if uh, when the wounds are healed, then we do the other eye. What if you qualify for LASIK but you'd rather do ICL? Is that allowed? Well, uh, most people can have uh, ICL if they qualify. Mm -hmm. The simpler procedure is uh, LASIK and it's the faster procedure and the quicker recovery. Because with ICL, we have to manufacture the lens, so it does take some time. So most patients are quite in a hurry to have their eyes fixed. So that's why LASIK is the more common option. But really, if you're qualified, anybody can have ICL. Okay, so this is implantable contact lenses, Correct. right? Do you change the grade of the contact lenses? No, we don't. So it's a permanent procedure. Mm -hmm. um, now, in cases that patients who've had ICL and their grade continues to go up, uh, for example, if you're a young patient, uh, sometimes this grade is still going up at the time of surgery. So these cases, uh, we don't anymore change the lens, but what we can now do, since we didn't remove tissue from the original surgery, now we can safely do laser surgery on top of the lens. Okay. How did that change your life from a day-to-day -day basis to like what you do with with work? Yeah. Well, completely, completely. Mm -hmm. I remember um, after my first procedure, after the right eye was done, I was actually crying in the operating room right after. I don't know if anyone from Shinagawa is here today, but I cried. Ah. And I, like, I was just so happy. Um, it was the first time I opened my eyes and I could actually see the faces in front of me. Uh, my eyesight was horrible. So it was just such a sigh of relief. I mean, I've had bad eyes since as long as I can remember. And that feeling of clarity is really like nothing else. Chaka alamo every person that I've talked to, Doc and Lau, that's had LASIK or any sort of eye treatment, two words lang, eh, life changing. Life changing, what, talaga. That was the same for you. It was the same for me. I mean, I started wearing glasses maybe when I was five years old, Ooh, so God. kinder, grade one. And then I switched the contacts when I was old enough. Kasi siyempre sa sports, when I would play baseball or you know rugby, um, yung mga rough sports talaga, I, obviously I can't wear glasses for that. And then when I got into TV, when I got into pageants, I wasn't able to wear glasses for that. Mm -hmm. So the contacts really strained my eye. I know doctors say it's not good to wear them all the time. Yes. But when it's your career, when you're in front of the camera all the time, I really had no choice. Um, so it was tough for me, and once I got my ICL done, my life completely changed. And we all know, nasabi mo na, na being in, a, in pageants, you are of course a spokesperson. How did having an improved, life-changing mm -hmm. um, eye care improve your causes? Well. I think it just made my life much easier because when I wake up in the morning, I no longer have to go to the bathroom and put my contacts on. Um, I can start my day. I can see my husband. <laughs> so it's it's really just it's life changing, and I realize that there's really nothing to be scared about because I think that's what people hesitate about in the beginning because everybody wants good eyes but they're scared of the procedure yes. all the stigma behind it but then I realized there's nothing to worry about it and I totally recommend it to anyone Ikaw, Doc, what can you maybe say to those people na who are thinking about because we were talking earlier yes. diba, na I've been thinking about it but then medyo nakakakaba din. What do you want to tell those people? Well, the, the most patients who are hesitant, now it's more out of fear because they don't understand the procedure. Of course, it's the eyes. They think it's going to hurt. Mm -hmm. There's always that fear of blindness. But uh, in eye surgery, any eye surgery, whether it's LASIK or uh, ICL, the risk of having complications is very low. We're talking about between 1 to 3% of any uh, complications from these surgeries. So it's a very safe procedure. It is quick and it is a painless procedure and immediate effects of the, the visual. It really changes your uh, life just like that. So if you're like me, na Google ng Google, and you are freaking yourself out, galing na kayo doka, nothing to worry about, and it's super safe. Now, before we take a break, kukuha muna tayo ng tanong from Facebook. It says, I got cataracts due to chemical burns. Will ICL be good for me after I had my cataract removal, doc? Well, uh, the major part there is going to be after they have that cataract already they're already put in cataract surgery a lens inside the eye okay so it may not be necessary to have eye seal after that but it will also depend because if there's a chemical burn sometimes it leaves a scar in the front of the eye so it will kind of depend on that but after uh, uh, cataract surgery you should not need an eye seal anymore all right well there you have it you heard it straight from doc minimal downtime lang talaga we'll talk more about having a good heart and good vision when shinagawa tv returns
Hi, May. Hello. Hi. Welcome back Hi. to me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. So, how was your LASIK experience? I know you had yours before I had mine. Yes, so. I had mine around 2017, and I was already done with pageants mm -hmm. at this point. But I felt mm -hmm. that my work was at stake because I couldn't see anything and I felt like as the years would go by my eyes just kept getting blurrier and blurrier so I finally decided to get LASIK. Well it's funny you say that because I had mine after pageants as well which yeah. I think was our mistake though. Yeah. So we should have done it before. before. I mean we're on stage the whole time in front of cameras. I actually didn't have LASIK. I had ICL which is a little bit different. Correct. The difference really between LASIK and ICL, with LASIK, we don't implant anything in the eye. Okay, We use a laser to reshape the front of the eye, which is called, called the cornea, to give you more clear vision. Mm -hmm. But in patients who do not qualify for LASIK, whether they have such a high grade or very thin corneas, now we go to the second procedure, which is ICL, which is what you have. Okay? So the grade is not lasered onto the eye, it's already on the lens that we just place inside the eye. There's a minimum limit of age at least 18 years old. Okay. Then there's not really a maximum limit as long as there are no other eye diseases like beginning cataract or other problems of the eyes. I was actually telling this to Denise earlier. I had wanted to do LASIK initially. Yeah. Because that's what Shinigal was known and for. And you asked me about it. Yeah, I asked you about it. I've been wanting to do it for so many years. But unfortunately, you know, not everyone is qualified. Yeah. What was the number one thing that you were worried about? Well, I guess on the top of my mind was will I go blind if this procedure yeah. goes wrong? Same here. But then, you know, you have to remember these people are professional you're not the first one who's done it and what made me really comfortable was the fact that they do one eye at a time so I would say maybe that's the only tricky part you have to allocate a week of your life because yes. obviously you can't go around with one blind eye and oh. one eye that's seeing it gets a little complicated but then one week is nothing compared to the rest of your life doc what's usually a worry that most of your patients have when it comes to lasik or what laura had most patients their most common question to me is does it hurt okay, okay so we do use anesthetic eye drops so you will not feel anything uh, in cases of uh, lasik in icl we do sedate our patients so they're they're asleep so re they really don't feel anything mm -hmm. Then the second, I know, uh, common fear is, will I go blind? Mm. So with both procedures, very safe. The complication rates of any eye procedure uh, when it comes to LASIK and ICL, very low, about less than 5%. So it's an IV sedation, so you're not totally knocked out, but gotcha. it's so you'll be calm and not move too much, especially mm. with ICL procedure, because we're putting a lens in a very small, tight space. Mm. We don't want the patient moving too much. With LASIK, it's not as uh, uh, critical because it, the laser does have a tracking system. So if you move a little bit, it, the laser will follow you. So after we got our procedure, we couldn't wear any makeup. We couldn't do any sports. How was that like for you? Because I had work right away. Yeah. How did you, I guess, adjust to that? Well, luckily, I had my procedure done during the pandemic when work wasn't as frequent. Yeah. So there was kind of that uh, relaxing time I had just at home when I didn't need to wear makeup. Mm. But if someone wants to do it, that's definitely something they have to consider. But again, it's a month of your life compared to the rest of your life. Is there a reason why you advise your patients not to wear any makeup, specifically eye makeup, when they go through these procedures? Yes, so any eye surgery, we don't want anything around the eyes until the, the wounds are completely healed. Mm -hmm. So any eye makeup, there's some powder or makeup particles that may uh, go inside the incision and may cause infection. So uh, especially with LASIK, uh, when we do laser, we make a flap and then we open that and then we do the laser and then put the flap back. But the flap is not completely healed. So mm -hmm. anything uh, that goes into the eye, like uh, powder, makeup, can go underneath the flap and maybe cause infection, inflammation, and prevent also good healing. There's this one question that I'm really curious about because a lot of women like to get their eyelashes done, so they have eyelash extensions. Is that something that you advise your patients not to have, or is it okay kahit naka eyelash extensions? Na? Well, we do have a lot of patients who come in who already have the eyelash yeah. extensions, so I just warn them when we do with our surgery because we tape the eyelashes. Maybe after the surgery, we may not have the eyelash okay. extension anymore, so it's going to come off. Okay? Okay. But it's not a problem during surgery. All right. And if they want to have eyelash extensions after, we usually advise to wait at least a week. By the way, did you experience any pain at all during your procedure, Meg? I didn't experience any pain whatsoever during my procedure. It was so smooth. I felt so relaxed. My doctor made me feel very comfortable during the procedure. And when I went home, I slept right away because I wanted to 
pagising ko magic na asen gusto ko makakita na ako agad. So thankfully I didn't experience any pain, but the rest of my siblings did get LASIK as well. And the only pain that they felt during uh, their recovery was that they felt like there were rocks, like mini pebbles or sand in their eyes. But I mean, the eye drops really helped. But that's that's it. Nothing whatsoever. So, Doc, what's the post-treatment care for it? Do we have to go to annual checkups at Shinagawa, or how does it work? So, right after any eye surgery, there are a lot of checkups that you have to go through uh, to make sure that everything's okay. Uh, the first one is right after the surgery, the next day. Uh, we look for to make sure that the surgery went well, that there's no uh, complications. Mm -hmm. Then the next one would be at one week uh, to make sure how is the healing, is it healing properly. Then after that, one month. So the one month normally is the final checkup that we ask for. Then after that checkup, we still would want to see you back frequently, three months, six months, and then yearly after that for at least five years. Mm -hmm. Then any problems in between that we, we will address it as we go along. But there are very few complications. So for my journey with Shinagawa, it was such a hassle-free experience and they really changed my life in terms of how I go about my life on a daily basis, in terms of my work, and I loved the experience so much that I convinced my whole family to go through with it with Shinagawa. My brother got it a couple of weeks after I did, my sister got it maybe a year or two after I did, and my mom got a procedure similar to yours also. So from all of us wearing glasses, we are now glasses free, we can see the world as beautiful as it is, and if you're really thinking twice about getting an eye laser procedure or something to make your eyesight better, go through with it. It's really life-changing and the quality of life is just, oh, I love mm -hmm. it so much. What about you, Lau? Well, for me, I don't know what more there is to say except that it was truly life-changing. Yes. I mean, you guys know my eyesight was horrible. 1,000. All my life, I don't remember having clear vision. Mm -hmm. So my day-to-day -day routine was either picking up glasses or picking up contacts. As I got older, it was picking up contacts. So it was a hassle. I mean, it's not yeah. a comfortable experience. You can feel that you have contacts on. It's not just a hassle putting them on, but throughout the day, they get dry, yeah. your eyes get tired. So once I had my treatment done, I felt like a, a completely new person. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's, it's a sigh of relief that you can finally see after so long. And you know, you know what I think also is that Shinagawa especially makes you feel so comfortable and safe. safe. And safe. The facilities are so top notch. The the office is just so clean. Yeah. To be honest, I felt more like I was entering a spa than yeah. a doctor's office because everything yeah. is so nice. Yeah. I mean, everything is so new and so nice. So I think that took my fear away. I felt so comfortable, and I didn't mind at all going back to my post treatment. So for any eye treatment, you would want to find the place that has the most experience and the most up-to-date as far as technology. Okay? So here at Shinagawa LASIK, we pattern ourselves after Japan. So in Japan, they're always making sure that the latest technologies, the latest machines, the latest instruments, and the latest in laser treatment or ICL treatment, that we're always up to date. You also want to trust a clinic who has experience. So in Shinagawa, we've been in business for about 30 years already, and we've probably done over 2 million surgeries. So we are very well versed in this, these kinds of surgeries. We have lots of experience from our uh, staff and our doctors. So we're very safe at Shinagawa. And there you go, guys. Thank you for listening to our stories, and I hope that it opens your eyes to a new kind of future. And if you're thinking about getting ICL, go to Shinagawa. I had the best experience. It'll change your life, and you won't be sorry. For those interested to having LASIK or ICL procedures, you can reach us on our website through Shinagawa Makati and also our other branches through our Facebook pages or Instagram pages. And of course, to know more about us, you can follow us on social media. You can follow Shinagawa on their social media pages as well. My social media is at Megan Bata. You can also follow the podcast, hashtag Behind Relationship Goals now. And I'm at, I am Lara Lehman. Maraming maraming salamat po. And best of luck on your Shinagawa journey. Bye.